guys, Steve and Myers Paranormal. Today we're out here at our local park and we're going to uh, answer our question for ourselves. Off in the woods, uh, that way, they did a haunted trail during Halloween about 10 years ago. But this way, I was exploring and actually found some old graves that I, I believe are actually real graves that have nothing to do with that trail because it's way back over here and these are over here. So we're going to use the Spirit app and the necrophonic and see see if uh, we can even get something from them so let's let's go check it out let's gonna see uh hope we filmed a video right in here hope playing and the water down there and stuff but matter of fact i think i see them from here maybe somewhere along this ridge i found two stacked stone graves they're like rock piles but they're piled in such a way that they look like somebody was buried there so but we just wanted to show them to you and see if we can't get any response from the either the apps and then we'll uh, go ahead and walk down that trail and show you that too These woods, there's all kind of trees fell over because we've had bad tornadoes here over the years, and not even exactly sure where they're at. It's hard to walk through these woods <laughs> for the same reason. Like, let's go right through there. Maybe not as many prickers and thorns, so. As Hope calls them. And this is how we're spending my birthday. On the trail exploring. Because that's it, this is our most favorite thing to do ever. And uh. I'm going to give you a kind of another reason why we feel like, at least I feel like, these are actually stacked stone graves. And that's because when, uh, I, I do metal detecting as well, and I actually found some uh, a horseshoe and some things out in the, the field here, so there were people here at one time. That's where a tree come up. I've got to find them though. It's been forever since I've actually looked for them. I don't really remember where they were at. You see right here kind of looks like one of them, but there was a tree uprooted right here, I believe. Maybe over here somewhere. Can I see rocks right there? It's hard to hard to get through and not get eat up by briar bushes because uh, I hate those they don't feel good I, think, I don't know oh right here we go here it is So this right here is what I found. See? They're laid in the shape of a body, and there's even an upright stone on the end of it. And you see how they're all moss covered and leaves and everything? That tells me these has been here a very long time. So, this one's one, and like, like Autumn just said, I think she found another one. This one right here is where a tree fell over, it fell across. So. No, that's where a tree fell over. See it going up through there? And 
So here's another one, but I think this one's just been disturbed over the years. It's a small one. See, it looks like a child. It's shaped like this. And then the upright's right here. So there's a second one. And, uh, I don't really see too many more. I mean, there's, as you can see, there's literally rocks everywhere here. But old, old jars. Looks like this one was from 1975, so it's actually newer, but... And yes, we actually take these home and sterilize them and wash them and actually use them, so... But... But uh, this is, uh... This right here, the park that's here, people trash this place all the time. And I'm pretty sure that's what this is, because this ain't a vase. See the screw top on it? not a vase so here's a pile of rocks see that's it's pretty good size it goes like like this right here and two trees could have grown up and fell over so this could be a third one and it looks like there's indentions through here so i think this may have been a farm and this was like a small little farm burial area right here and there was a child couple adults that one up there is like the one that's it's still predominantly together so let's uh get the spirit app going and see if we can't get something so We're just trying to get set up. Take just a minute. Pretty little ornate little jar there though. Now when we go to cemeteries, an actual cemetery that there's no like stuff around, we don't take anything, but this right here is just discarded trash. There's plastic bottles and junk everywhere here, so Something like this, we'll take home and actually put it back to use. But, Or we may even clean it up and bring it back, put some flowers in it, and put it back right here. That's probably more like what we'll do. So, Autumn's got the K2 meter as well as the, see the K2 meters there. Guys, if there's anybody hey. here. Up. <laughs> wow, it's actually flickering. That's what I thought. And see, it's very cloudy. We got bad weather coming in, so the energy in the atmosphere is and high. The so. And there, the water is just literally right through those trees. So, yeah. Anybody here that would like to, you can come sp up to, to speak? This light, if you saw it flickers like this. You can use the energy, your energy, and light it up. Don't be afraid. Is there anybody here that would like to speak to us? We want to allow you to use our energy from our equipment, the atmosphere, and build up enough energy for you to speak to us. We want to give you a chance, the opportunity to uh, use your voice and speak because I know no people come over here but they don't speak to you at all. I know they don't. We didn't know you was here. We've been coming here since we was little. So, if you'd like the opportunity to speak, come up now. We have this other device. Which one are we going to use first? Use the uh, Spirit app first. The Spirit, the, speaker the Spirit, like I said, the Spirit app and the Necrophonic app are literally the same thing but the Spirit app has the software to verbally tell you what it catches. So. Okay. So, in her hands is a device that you can use your words and you can speak to us. You can come up, use the energy, 
Feel Grandma, free. Use my energy if you have to. I'm going to leave this here. Scottish. Scottish? We got the word Scottish. That is amazing. That is amazing. Thank you for speaking to us. See, I knew. Well, she just had it turned on just a very few seconds and it already hit. So, take the opportunity and speak to us. <clears throat> speak to us. Can you give us your name? I'd like to know what your name is so we can talk to you, First speak to you. Let's give us our name. I'm Autumn. I'm Steven. So, y'all feel free to come up and speak. Come here a lot. We've been coming here since we're little. Oh yeah. You don't have to be afraid of us. I'm all I'm all in these woods right here because this is our one of our favorite places to come and swim and play and all kinds of stuff. Have a good time. You have anything else to say? Don't be afraid. Just want to talk and be your friend and give you a voice and listen to you. We're here to listen to you. Will you, uh, you have anything you say that you wanted to say for a long, long time? That includes. Wealthy. You guys were wealthy. Well, you had to be wealthy to own a place like this. It's huge. When we come out, we'll show you the vastness of it. It's just a city park now, but this used I'm pretty sure this used to be a plantation area, so. Thank you for speaking. Over here as well, just right over there. Use your words and speak with us. Anybody can come up to us and talk. Don't be afraid. It's starting to rain, of course, but we'll be all right. talk about anything you want to talk about so so far they've said scottish and wealthy so can you touch that meter again if you touch this with the green light it'll change colors it'll let us know you're here so can you do that for us don't be shy more more okay what would you like more of no, uh, M -O -O -R -E, like oh more that's actually a last name your last name is Moore, and it's actually a predominant name around here, so it makes sense. So, Moore, can you give us your first name? Cold. Cold? It's been cold. Yeah, I'm sure you are cold. It's my birthday today, and I wanted to come out here and spend my birthday with somebody, so we decided to come spend it with you, so. Shot. shot. You were shot? So, uh, Moore from Scotland was shot. Make, I mean. It was a farm. I'm pretty sure this was a farm or a plantation, so. Are you touching the meter? Is it flickering? Dang. Yeah. It keeps I feel bad that it flickers off camera. Like, yeah, yeah, it's hard for us to us catch shy the flicker, but it does flicker. Can you do that again while I'm pointing at it? That way everybody at home can see it. Can you wish Steven a happy birthday? Boy, that would just blow my mind if it did that. See, did you see that guy see that? Did it? It did. Thank, Thank you. you for that. Can you, can you light it up to orange? Nah, that was me that moved that. I have moved something. It's fine. Them limbs are in the way. My leg's up against one of the limbs and it moved it. Wait a second. Wait. Children here? Wait a minute. That may not have been me because I'm sitting here moving this and it's not moving anymore. Well, move the branch. Children here. Are you talking about... Are you saying children? Cause, yeah, we know there's one child here, but are there uh, small children here? There's one buried right over there. Okay. Hey there, children. It can said children. A, can we get a name? This is a child's park we're actually at. There's, can we get a name, please? 
Y'all can go up and play with that. See, I tried to move that again with this branch. It didn't move. And and what you can you guys can do is watch. And since we come here um, a lot, we're going to get more equipment for y'all to have more toys to play with. You guys at home, if you will watch that part, you'll be able to see whether it Maybe moved on its good. own or uh, the branch underneath it there moved or what. And you guys can put it in the comments. Please use my energy if you have to, to get up enough energy to use this. I know it takes a while for you to answer us. We so. can affect you. Well, we can affect us. it says we can affect you, but we ask you not to do that, though. We come to speak, but we didn't come to get hurt or anything, so. Maybe using our energy might make us a little sick, but it's okay. You can use the water energy, the brain. Yeah, I've been here lately i've been thinking about not letting them use our energy anymore because i know to to yeah because they i heard that some, sometimes it gives you headaches so. it can make you just we sick all we're all good well we want to thank you for that we appreciate you being good so this right here it said their children here and this is a probably a child's grave as small as it is can you tell us how many graves here we see Two so far. We see two. There's probably more. Autumn didn't even know these were here. She was going over there towards the trail, and I'm like, oh no, they're over here on this ridge. I was to tell them these are in a different area than, like I said, there was a haunted trail, but it's over about a quarter of a mile from here. So that's why I was saying, you know, there is indentions here and there's field stones all throughout so uh, it said it that? said they threw something, Can you throw something i was just coming over here to this which um i was also going to make another point too um you know when they do the fields plowing they used to throw those big rocks off in huge piles but these rocks are not in huge piles they're literally just enough to cover a grave so see that there's lots of rocks here and it is raining so they, they'll be able to use that energy she'll have to yell and tell me what it says though because i'm coming through here just checking out the seeing if I can find any more I may end up not being able to actually show the trail because it's actually raining pretty good so yeah go ahead and Please. speak some more because we're, we're gonna have to It's starting to rain. Us, we would stay out here as long as we want to. So. Please give us your last words, but we definitely will come back. Oh, yeah. I'm going to start making our way to the car as as you speak. So. Can you tell us goodbye? David. David. David Moore. What a name. We will come back. Goodbye. You can follow us. Yeah, you keep speaking while we're walking to the car. Trying to make it out of here without getting drowned. I knew we wouldn't have too long. That's... Is she? But as you can see, look at the vastness of the. It just keeps on going. Of course, there's a tree line and such, but. Just like a baseball field on the other side over there, and then the playground, and which I'm pretty sure that all this, these trees and things, were not here back in the day. So, 
all this used to be pasture land. I don't. I think it was out toward the very centers where I found that old horseshoe. So anyway, we thank everybody who spoke for speaking to us. Y'all have to stay here. You cannot like you cannot attach yourself to us or our equipment. We'll come back. You cannot come with us. You must stay here. But we appreciate you speaking with us. As soon as all this old ugly weather's over, we'll come back and talk with you again. So. This is their land. It said, this is my land. David Moore from Scotland was shot. And his children are buried here is basically what we was told. So. Thank everybody for speaking to us. And please respect our wishes and stay here. And we'll come and film another day. So, you guys at home, we thank y'all for watching. And this is the first video that we've made since we hit the 100,000 subscriber mark. So, thank every one of y'all for your your support, your likes on our videos, your comments sharing our channel out we appreciate each and every one of y'all without y'all it wouldn't be possible here we'll make a part two of this one so thank y'all for watching our videos join us on the next one